Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK, my name is MJ and today we are reviewing papaya. Yes, this is our annual fruit, we seem to do about one fruit a year. We've done honey crisp apple in the past, we've done blood orange and we've done persimmon. I, I'm pretty sure that's the only fruit we've done which is literally been going since 2013 I think so it's literally one fruit a year um, so yeah today we've got papaya they were selling them in Aldi uh, for about 89p or something like that and I thought oh yeah we'll smash that here's what we posted on Instagram this is uh, soon after we got it about the day day or so that we got it um, and it was very hard um, I didn't know what to look for so I googled it how do you tell when a papaya is ripe and there's a very useful YouTube video it's yeah, it's like the perfect YouTube video to find out if it's ripe. Um, so cool, that's what we've got. It's it's obviously very yellow now. It basically said, yeah, it goes soft and softer and yellow, uh, which is pretty much what it is. I don't know if that's a bruise there or what's going on. And also, I don't know if it's got a stone in the middle. I haven't got a plate. To be honest, it's probably not the safest way to cut it, but I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to try and cut through it like that so that you can see. Wow, that's cutting through easily. Look, that's literally just cut through it like that. Hmm, can't say it smells amazing. I'm gonna cut this little stalky bit off. Yeah, looks pretty normal, guys. I don't know, I've got no idea if you're supposed to peel it. I mean, I assume you're supposed to peel it. And I don't know how easy it is to peel. Um, no, really hard, actually. I'm trying to peel. Yeah, it's literally hard to peel. So I'll cut the skin off, I think. Just because I assume that's what you're supposed to do. Right, there we go, That's, so that has left us with the fruit. Papaya, here we go. Oh wow, it's very soft. Got a nice texture. Oh. Oh. Fuck it out. A nice texture and a terrible flavour. Um. Oh, fuck me, that is not good at all. Maybe it's because I've gone next to the stalk. Let's try and get a different bit. Oh, the aftertaste is a bit better, but, um, right, I've gone in the middle now. Cut a little Pac-Man bit out. It still smells weird. It smells a little bit plasticky and a little bit, honestly, bit cheesy. <laughs> that is hard not to describe that as cheesy. <sighs> Fucking hell, right, let's give it another bash from the centre. It's a bit softer in here and a bit juicier, it seems. Oh, way softer and way nicer there. Yeah, wow, totally different flavour there. Really juicy. Mm. Try and get another bit. I've got into the middle, guys, and there's loads of seeds in there. Look at that. Weird. Now, I assume you're not meant to eat the seeds. Getting my fingers quite sticky. Oh, yeah. Hmm, that's really interesting. Yeah, the outside bit, absolutely fucked up. I don't know if that bit wasn't ripe or what the hell was wrong with it. Maybe you're just not supposed to eat the stalk end, but that was gross. Not good at all. But the actual inside bit, it's way softer, so maybe it is a ripeness thing. Although I would think that the outside would ripen before, would I? I don't know. Um, so yeah, the inside a lot sweeter, much more, like, I say much more mushy, just a lot softer. It's not mushy, it's actually a really nice texture. Texture is really good, it's like a soft melon. Speaking of melon, I'm actually getting some honeydew flex from the flavour. So it's like a sweet, almost melony, like light bit of melon, light bit of kind of strawberry, apple. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it is quite a unique flavour. And it is fruity and it is nice. Uh, I'm not mind blown by it, I'm not blown away, my, my mind is not blown, but uh, yeah, I can see why they are, you know, why they exist, because the fruit and nature, but yeah, I don't know, a bit expensive for the price maybe, but I guess that's because they're exotic, it tastes okay, I've definitely ha never had anything like it, which is cool, so it's a good experience, and I definitely recommend that you try it, um, I'm going to actually cut some up when I'm out in the kitchen and put it in some bags and use it for smoothies or something, because it does have a nice flavour and I don't want to waste it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine, it's good, I'll give it a high three stars. That's for the middle, the outside gets like a one. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Did you see these in Aldi and were you interested enough to buy one? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more videos. Oh my God.
right, struggling to get into him. Oh, that's fine, Matt. <laughs> Thought that was a branch falling down. So. <laughs> Is that why he started cowering? <laughs> yeah, actually, nature does terrify me. <laughs>